this is Lisa from This Little Piggy Plans, and I am here today to film my very first YouTube video. Um, so as I'm getting used to recording videos for my channel, I thought um, a fun thing to do would be to do some flip throughs of my planners. Um, I haven't actually been planning that long. I've been planning for about a year and a half now. And so um, my very first planner here is a happy planner. And I saw this in the trending now section in Michael's, like in June of 2000, was it 2015? It must've been 2000, no, 2016, June of 2016. And I thought, trending now like why why is this planner tra trending like I I just didn't know about the planning community so I mean it, it came home in my cart um, with a couple of other things I had to go back and um, get the expander discs for it once I once I like stuffed it full of all the things I bought I quickly realized that I needed the larger discs um, because this is an 18 month planner um, so, yeah, I just, I, I got it in June, and this planner started in July, so it kind of sat um, around for a few weeks, and in that time, I just kind of started Googling, like, what, you know, what to do with it, and I found, like, the Happy Planning group on Facebook, and yeah, so needless to say, I went down a big rabbit hole with the planning, and of course, um, we my husband and I have since opened our own sticker shop, This Little Piggy Plans. Um, so almost a full year after I had started planning. So we opened in May 2017. So, so this planner here um, is the start of my journey into planning. So I wanted to walk you guys through that. Um, so let's, let's do it. All right, so I didn't, I don't have anything in the pocket in here, but um, I'm going to cover up my phone number. Um, so a small like little complaint here is that the the edge of the pocket ended up like discoloring the page up here. I mean, it's not like really that big a deal, but you know, that might bother some people. Um, honestly, like I probably would have done something nicer with like my name, but I just decided to write my name and phone number. So that's all that's going on there. Um, so this thing is like really like, you know, super, super full because it's a 18 month, 18 month planner. And so, yeah. Um, all right. So let's see. I didn't really start filling out. I mean, I never really filled out the currently section. Um, this, this July, um, on July 4th is our wedding anniversary, so this July we were celebrating three years of marriage, and we were planning a trip to Vermont, and we were watching a lot of Peppa Pig. You'll notice that pigs were kind of a theme in our lives because at the time, Owen was like 17 months old, or he was like a year and a half old about, um, and so he was really into farm animals like we did a first his first birthday party was a farm animal theme um and one of the very first words i call them words um that he was able to do was make the pig noise he did like i can't even rep replicate it if i tried but he was able to make this most amazing pig snort and it sounded just like a pig and so like we got him to like associate making that noise with like whenever he saw a pig um so yeah like anytime he saw a pig he would just go like <coughs> all the time and i mean i can't do it justice but it was like the most adorable thing so that's kind of you know how we ended up choosing our shop name eventually because he was just really into pigs and so pigs were like a thing with us um they became a thing for us with you know, with Owen through him. So, um, I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything with my monthly spread. 
um, I had just a few stickers that I put in. Um, a puffy sticker. This is an emoji sticker. I learned um, to avoid using puffy stickers in the planner because they just, you know, create too much bulk. So that was like a rookie sticker planning mistake there. Um, but yeah, so my very first planner spread um, is basically a no white space spread. Um, I just want to apologize if you hear a lot of creaking noise. That's because I have to film in my basement. And so that's just family members walking um, above. And, you know, I'm in the basement underneath. And so the floor creaks a lot in our in our house. Um, anyway, though, so I did not have a lot of stickers when I started planning. And that has changed quite a bit. Um but I did have, like, when I bought the Happy Planner, I bought just a couple of Happy Planner sticker books. So, like, some of these to-do stickers are from those books. Um, but what I did for the boxes is I just used scrapbook paper. I have a ton of scrapbook paper because I, before I got into planning, I would make a lot of handmade greeting cards and do a lot of stamping. Um, so like I had like so much, um, scrapbook paper laying around and I had seen that like, you know, people that don't have a lot of stickers, but wanted to make boxes would like cut scrapbook paper down to size and, and do that. So, so that was what I decided to do for this first spread here. And I think the scrapbook paper is from Lawn Fawn, who is one of my favorite, um, stamping companies. So Lawn Fawn, I think, is awesome. Um, so these papers are super cute. Um, these owls down here are just actually sticky notes that I glued down. Um, I have, like, a little bit of an owl thing that's been going on for a few years, too. Um, so, and then this is all just, just washi tape over here. And so I just kind of, like, made my own checkboxes. Um, yeah, and and just kind of like made it work with what I had when I didn't, you know, didn't have a lot of supplies to work with. I just used like things that I had in my house already. So I think, you know, for my very first planning spread, um, I mean, it's definitely different than how I plan now, but I think it looks super cute. Um, so yeah, I was, I was definitely a no white space planner from the very beginning. And you'll see that especially in my next spread over here. <laughs> now, um, I love how this looks. Um, I wasn't exactly pre-planning as much as I was memory planning at the time. Like when I was just like getting going with it. Um, you know, as I said in the monthly, in the currently section, July 4th is... Um, my anniversary, my wedding anniversary with Bryce, and um, this was our third wedding anniversary. And again, like this is scrapbook paper and die cuts and stickers from the Doodlebug scrapbooking paper company. And I just, I loved, you know, it's really patriotic, but it has a lot of heart. So I thought that this was like a great set of paper to use to decorate for this week. Um, and I did some memory planning um, down in the corner over here. Um, and this is like some coordinating washi tape that came with the kit. So, I mean, this is really busy and, um, you know, this is not how I plan now, but I think like for like a memory scrapbook type of purpose, which is kind of how I started out doing this, it's super cute. And, you know, it's a fun week to look back on. Um, you know, I did a little journaling with like what we did, how we spent our anniversary day. And then like I had like just like the list of like what was going on that week with like my flute lessons that I teach and everything because I'm a professional flutist. So that's what my job is. So um, in addition to college that I teach at, I have um, a lot of private students. So I always like mark my teaching schedule in my planner because it tends to change. Um, from week to week as much as I try to keep it stable just you know things always come up and people need to reschedule so 
that's usually like one of the things that always gets marked down in my planner. But yeah, I just, you know, this is really busy and like this kind of planning wouldn't work for me as like a plan, planning out my week type of planning. But like for back planning, like memory planning, I think it looks really cute. Um, but there's definitely like no white space here. And like this, you know, with all the scrapbook paper and everything, like these pages have become pretty thick. Um, so that's the one thing about using scrapbook paper is that it does make the pages quite a bit thicker. So moving on, um, here again, like this is definitely another memory planning spread because we were actually in Vermont on vacation this week. And so I brought my planner with me, but I didn't fill it in at all actually until after we got back. Um, so I found some, um, cute scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper is from Cosmo Cricut. Um, and we went to Vermont. I did, I had just finished, um, my dissertation. So, um, for my doctorate. And so we went and visited Bennington College where I was able to actually just do like a little bit more research, um, on the topic that I was, um, exploring for that. So that was really cool. Um, but you know, again, this is memory planning and it's like very busy, but I love it. Like this is just a post-it note here that I just, you know, wrote like a little blurb of like how we spent Sunday or like the weekend. Um, and then what we did, like I used, I found this cute little cheese sticker from Target. And so I just like, we went to the Cabot cheese factory that day. Um, you know, we had like ice cream that day and went to Ben and Jerry's factory. So there's a cow there and, you know, really cute. And, you know, we were in Bennington and they have like a whole, um, painted moose, um, display throughout the city of Bennington. And, um, it was actually our second time visiting that. Um, and so like we would go around and take like selfies with all the moose. Um, so that was something that I wanted to mark in there. Um, but like something that I would not do now, even in a memory planner is use like these chipboard pieces because they just add too much bulk. Um, but yeah, like I love how this looks. So this is definitely really fun to look back on as memory planning. Um, and then this, I think I tried to plan this week, like a little bit ahead of time. Um, I definitely wasn't on vacation anymore. I want to say that this scrapbook paper was from like an Amy Tangerine line that she did with American Crafts. Um, so yeah, so I just chose like some cute scrapbook paper and basically just put like my teaching schedule in here. And um, so there's like some happy planner stickers just scattered throughout. Um, so like definitely there's still no white space or anything and yeah, so that was pretty much like, I guess there's one more. Yeah, there's one more spread in July and this one is a lot more sparse. I mean, it's still really busy, <laughs> like what most people would consider busy, but like compared to like everything that I just showed you, like this is kind of like a little bit of a breath breath of fresh air. Hi everyone. I am back. Um, I did not realize that my video got cut off. So, um, I'm filming this again. Um, all right. So I think I was in the middle of talking about this last spread in July, um, which again was just like a little bit of scrapbook paper and some happy planner stickers and some regular like little stickers from the dollar zone that somebody had or from the dollar tree that like somebody had sent me so yeah so basically like my whole um my whole first month of planning was pretty much like scrapbook paper and a mix of memory planning and just trying to get the hang of everything here um okay so let's move on to august and as you can see i put a couple of stickers in the monthly like this this one actually is a scratch and sniff watermelon guy for national watermelon day um so it smells really good in my planner but i didn't actually do any planning as you can see um yeah so the first week of august um i actually moved 
away from scrapbook paper for the most part. Like there's this little bit that I put in there, but um, most of the stickers here are just from the Happy Planner book. And as you can see, I went with like a green week to kind of match the date numbers at the top. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's nothing really unusual about this one. Just, um, just some Happy Planner stickers and a couple of owls. Oh, this owl uh, down here at the bottom was actually the very first sticker that my husband made for me to use in my planner. Um, he had figured out that since he does a lot of graphic design work that he could probably figure out how to make me some stickers and um, surprised me with these little um, owl boxes which I thought are super cute. So I had um, been just printing like some sta things out on like Avery sticker paper that like you can get from Staples. So the quality is not great of it but it's super cute and I think he based it off like the idea off of this little I guess it's a dinosaur or something to do a sticker up here um and this was like somebody's principal but yeah so this was like the very first uh sticker that he made for me we don't sell these in our shop or anything but he was just experimenting with that and yeah he made them in all kinds of colors for me so you'll see a few of them spread out here okay now I just have to say I really don't like this next spread at all. Um, it was Olympics week, the Rio Olympics, and I had just um, gotten this like printable kit from somebody's Etsy shop and printed it out myself. And as you can see, like the printing quality, um, I don't know if it was my printer running out of ink or, or what, but um, between the printing quality and my really sloppy cutting job, this is kind of a hot mess over here, but I mean, it did the job of just documenting what was going on that week. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I could just skip over this one. I really don't like it at all, but it is what it is. Now this one here, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Michelle Baxter. She has the quirky heart Instagram handle and she has quite a large following because she does like the most amazing bullet journal spreads and she does a lot of stamping and she's really, really creative with her bullet journal. Um, but she also has an Etsy shop that she offers printable uh, planner stickers for. Um, and she had them also sized for the Happy Planner. Now she did close for a while, so I have no idea like what her status is at the moment. She did reopen at least for a little while, like a month or so ago, but you know, whether she's still open, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so she's quirky heart and like this whole kit is from her shop, like all these cute little llamas and all of these boxes. Um, the donuts are super cute. This is some sprinkle washi tape that I got like, I think either at, either at Target or possibly Hobby Lobby. Um, I can't exactly remember. It might've been Hobby Lobby because at the time we didn't have one on Long Island. And I think on the way home from our Vermont vacation, we found one and I stopped in and like picked up a few rolls of washi tape. Um, yeah, so that might be where that's from. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I did a sloppy cutting, cutting job and I just printed this out myself, but this, I really like Michelle's style. And, um, so here's like another one of those little owl to-do lists that my husband made for me. And, um, this right here, plus this llama here, but this, um, mommy and sun time sticker is my very first peanut butter taco sticker. Monica's shop is amazing and um, these mommy and sun time stickers quickly became like a staple in my planner um, since you know I have a lot of activities going on with my son and so we definitely have some time that we spend together doing various things that mommies and sons do so that's like the perfect sticker for me. Um, 
Yeah, so this was like the beginning of my peanut butter taco addiction. She was the very first Etsy shop that I shopped from that was not printables. So like, you know, you order them and get them mailed to you. And she is still one of my absolutely favorite shops, so you guys should check her out. You'll see a lot of stickers coming up um, for her. Um, here's another one in the spread over here. So again, this is, um, I have a couple of stickers from Peanut Butter Taco. I think this crab is from Peanut Butter Taco too. Um, and then like everything else is another kit from Michelle at Quirky Heart. So I thought that this was really fun to use for the summer, um, going like to the pool. And um, I, I can't remember if we went to the beach this week or not, but we went like, I think the following week. Um, I don't see anything about the beach, so it must be the following week. Um, yeah, so I thought that that was, that was really cute. These walk boxes um, and this walk box over here, these are also from Monica's shop, Peanut Butter Taco. Um, yeah, but everything else is from Quirky Heart. Um, like these workout boxes are from Happy Planner sticker book. So yeah, so I really enjoyed using this kit and I had enough actually that I was able to use it again for the last week of August and the beginning few days of September. Um, yeah, so as you can see, like the, the two spreads look actually pretty different, even though I used like the same, the same kit. So I think, you know, Michelle's kits are super cute. So if you ever catch her shop open um, and you have a decent printer and sticker paper, you might want to give her kits a shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think everything here, though, is just from Quirky Heart. So that wraps up August. Okay, and then my month of September is really sad because I did not get a single week in September planned, you guys, and I mean just the first four days, and it's really sad because the fifth is my birthday, and I really meant to plan this week out um, because I love my birthday, and I wanted to do like a really fun spread, and I just never got to it um, because I was busy preparing for a flute recital which happened on this day here so again no planning happened that week and I'm not sure why no planning happened this week either because the recital was done um, and again like nothing happened this week so the whole month of September was a total bust so yeah oh well I think I really meant to go and back plan and I never did obviously so um, October, again, I used another like poofy sticker that I won't use those in my planner anymore because they're too bulky. Um, so this was another printable kit, but this one I did not get off of Etsy. This was just a free printable that I found somewhere online. Like, I don't know if I found it like through Pinterest. I have no idea, um, you know, where I got it from now. Like it's been too long. I absolutely can't remember. Um, but I think it's pretty cute. So it was like, just had a little bit, like a few boxes, a few checklists and, um, the other stickers, um, are from the happy planner books. So I filled it in with some of that stuff. Um, again, I have a few of Monica's stickers down here. The scale is also from Monica's shop. And so is this little owl here and these laundries here, um, and the walk box. And I did a Trader Joe's T is for st taco sticker for Taco Tuesday. I love Trader Joe's stickers and my husband knows to always bring them home for me. If he goes to Trader Joe's without me, he will still ask for stickers. Um, so he's really great like that. And okay, so these piggies down here are from Mrs. Grossman's, but I'm pointing these out because you'll see that next to them it says TLP planning and so this is right when we were starting to think about having an Etsy shop and came up with the name this little piggy so this little piggy plans um, so yeah so we were just like in the very early stages of, of thinking about it and coming up with some shop name ideas and all of that so yeah 
Um, okay, so this next week is another Quirky Heart printable kit that I did a really terrible job cutting out. It's all kinds of crooked and messy, but I really like the colors and um, and I really like Michelle's style of art. It's really great. So, so that one was fun. And all right, this next one here is one of my favorites that I did. Again, I used scrapbook paper for the background boxes and some black glitter washi tape from Target Dollar Spot. And then all of these cute little decorative stickers um, are were from like a pumpkin patch sticker sheet that Sticko makes. So I just think that this turns out super cute and um, there are a few stickers like this one here is a happy planner sticker and it's glossy and I obviously didn't know what type of pen to use on it. So, um, so it totally smudged on me, but yeah, this is actually one of my favorites that I did. I think it's super cute and you know, it goes with the color, the date numbers on the top really well. And this one here, um, is pretty sparse and that's because, I mean, it looks like all filled in, but that's because I back planned it. Um, I had a lot going on this week with, um, job applications and all kinds of, um, cover letters and statements that I needed to write up for the application. So I had just like made a list of chicken scratch in my bullet journal just to like keep track of what I had going on. And then I went back and just filled it in, but this was just like, a one sheet um, sticker kit from the Happy Planner book. So just like some boxes and some checklists and nothing, nothing fancy at all here. It was just serving the purpose of getting it into my planner. So, and then that takes us into November. And I'm just gonna pause the camera and get a drink of water. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and let's get into November. Okay, so this spread I really love a lot. Um, it is a Charlie Brown Halloween printable that was a free printable that I found, again, somewhere from like somebody's online site or something. Um, I think I probably found it through Pinterest or maybe through like somebody in the Happy Planner groups on Facebook. Um, but I decided to go with this Charlie Brown kit because it was a Halloween kit and Halloween was on Monday. And then my husband Bryce's birthday is on November 1st and he is really big into Charlie Brown. So I saw this kit and I said, oh my gosh, that is so perfect to use for this week. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, I ended up splitting up the colors in such a way that I tried to, and and how I used like the washi tape to try to make it look a little bit more Halloween-y on like the left-hand part of the planner, but I didn't want this side of the planner to look still too much like Halloween because, I mean, we're into November, and I'm one of those people that like once the holiday has passed, like I can move on from it. I don't need to like, I'll plan for it ahead of time and like to decorate and get all that stuff like leading up to the holiday. But like once it's over, it's over. So I just, you know, wanted to start moving away from, from Halloween. So even though I still have Halloween, like jack-o'-lanterns over here, um, I tried to use a little bit less like black on this side so that it was a little bit more fall colored with like just the purple and everything so but yeah I think that this turns out super cute the um I think this washi tape with the bats was from Michaels and the rest of it like these cute little ghosts at the bottom and these jack-o'-lanterns um I believe that both of those were from Target dollar spot I might be wrong about the jack o lanterns but the, these ghosts were definitely from Target. Um, yeah, so I think that this turned out super cute. This is one of my favorite spreads and in my you know early planning days. And I just, yeah, I really like this one. And then I really like this next one too. Now, 
for me, this one has a lot more white space than my spreads typically tend to have. Um, but I really love it. Um, what I did for this one was I wanted to use, I had this really cute sheet, again, of stickers from a sticko. Um, just, it was like one sticker sheet from Sticko that had like all of these cute little squirrels and rabbits and pumpkins and this raccoon. And I just thought that it would be super cute to use in my planner. Um, so that was what I did for this week. I filled it in with some boxes that went with the same colors. These are half boxes from Peanut Butter Taco. And so are these walk boxes on the top. And then... The rest of the stickers are just um, from the Happy Planner. Or like these little tiny ones here are from like a Recollections book. But yeah, like I thought this one turned out really super cute. And this is one of my favorites too. So even though this whole election day happened. So if like, if we could take out election day and just focus on the rest of the spread, I really liked this week. So we'll just like pretend that, I mean, it's hard to pretend that that day didn't happen because, you know, we're kind of stuck with the results of that for way too long here. But, um, but the stickers are cute. So we'll just focus on the positive here. All right. Um, and I think there's nothing else. Like everything is either from the Happy Planner or from the sticker sheet um, or Monica shop. Yeah. All right. All right. So. This is not one of my favorite planner spreads at all. Um, you can see that I went a little Thomas the Tank Engine crazy on this one. And it's because I was planning for Owen's second birthday party. And we had a big Thomas the Tank Engine themed party, um, which was super awesome. And everything for his party turned out great only thing I'm not happy with is this planner spread because let's face it it's just kind of a hot mess here um I mean I wanted to celebrate in my planner that I was getting ready for his party and so the only thing like Thomas that I could find were these stickers so I stuck a bunch of these stickers in and like the paper that I used in the background um was just like cheap printer paper like it's not even scrapbook paper like I just I had like I just chose like colors that were Thomas colored and this was also my first and last experiment with stamping in my planner so I love to stamp I've been making greeting cards for years and stamping is a lot of fun so I thought I was going to try it in my planner. The stamps themselves are cute. Like it's a, it's a Lawn Fawn stamp set. Like when I, Lawn Fawn is my favorite stamping company. So when I saw that she had like a couple of planner stamp sets out, I grabbed one. They thought, oh, you know, I love to stamp. Maybe I'll try, you know, I'm early in my planning here. I thought, you know, maybe I'll try stamping, see how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't like it. So, and you can see like with the washi tape, I, what I tried to do was make it look like train tracks and yeah, this is just kind of a hot mess. So yeah, that's that one. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. And then my last full week of November was another quirky heart kit. Um, Owen's birthday is the 22nd. Um, so I just like, used one of the happy llamas and put a quilt box for his birthday. This is all quirky heart printable kit. And, um, again, like it's just the Avery sticker paper is not great quality. And my printer looks like it was completely running out of ink and I did a hot mess cutting job on it. But I mean, I still like it. It looks cute. I mean, it's not one of my favorites in the world, but it looks cute. And this little like box here, keep calm and put your stretchy pants on is adorable. Um, so yeah. Oh, and we went to, um, we went to the llama farm on this day. We have a local llama farm that our friend, friend, um, Tabitha owns and she's got a bunch of llamas. So, um, every year at Christmas time, 
she like dresses the llamas in like some Santa hats and jingle bells and stuff and she has like an open house at her farm so we took Owen to go see the llamas and that that's always super fun um I knit and so I like to buy yarn from her because she um makes her own yarn from you know her animals and everything so yeah so that was a fun day so there's lots of llamas to kind of mark that that happened and that brings us to the very end you see I didn't do anything in my December monthly so this brings us to the last few days of November and the beginning of December um honestly I think that the only reason I used these colors was because of the date numbers at the top and not not wanting to start a Christmas spread when half of the week was still in November. Um, I'm just kind of like December starts Christmas planning. So yeah, so I don't know. It's not very festive. It's this was another um, it's the Bambi. This was a free kit again, like a free printable kit that I found from like the same place that had the Charlie Brown kits. Um, yeah, so these owl boxes are all the owls that my husband made for me. And there's a bunch of the mommy and sometime stickers from Peanut Butter Taco. But everything else was either just like from, well, these were like leftovers from Michelle's kit that I used like in previous weeks. Um, oh, this um, Play-Doh Create stickers from Peanut Butter Taco. So that's one that I use a lot because Owen, um, he's three now, but he was two at this time and really loved to play with Play-Doh. Um, so that was something that we did a lot of together. Um, the weekend stickers. I think this is honestly like my favorite thing about the spread is the weekend stickers. These were actually just from the dollar zone at Target. So yeah, so that was November in my planner. And then, um, for the first week of December, I had another one of the Charlie Brown, um, free printable kits that I had found, like, you know, from the same place that did the Halloween kit. So I used that for this first week of December and just, again, some of the cheap printer paper that I used in the Thomas spread a couple weeks back. Um, and then just like, these are deco stickers from the Happy Planner. This one's from Happy Planner. I think this like polar bears from Happy Planner. So it's just kind of a mix of Happy Planner stickers and the Charlie Brown printable kit. And this art time sticker is also from Peanut Butter Taco. So that one's super cute. And then I missed planning the next week. And apparently the week after that. And I do remember that we were on vacation this week. We went on a road trip to visit family in North Carolina. And so I think I think I actually did like half of this planning in the car and like half when we like either when we got back or when I was when I was down there. Um I I only used a Happy Planner sticker sheet to decorate for this one, and I really, I don't like how this came out at all. Like, the colors just aren't me, and something that that bugged me about using a color, color planner, like one that's not like a neutral spread, but that has like color in it, like the Happy Planner that I have, um, <coughs> and why I selected when I got my Erin Condren, I selected neutral. Um, even though I gravitate towards a lot of color, I discovered that like when I'm planning in my planner, um, I don't want to compete. Like I want to just be able to choose my own colors. I don't want to compete with like whatever's there or try to match all the time to whatever's just decided for me. Like I'd rather decide that myself. Um, so, so this week was just like, I don't know, I just used these stickers. I think I felt like the gold and black would be good for the new year, New Year's Eve and the new year, but like it totally clashed with the colors at the top. And, you know, another thing that I didn't enjoy about the Happy Planner is that they colored out, like they blocked out the weekends with like 
a color in the background instead of the blank white boxes. And so I just, I don't, I mean, it's like this puke green color. Like who wants a puke green color in their planner? Like I couldn't even, maybe it's because I was on vacation and I just didn't have like stuff with me to like cover it up, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this. So yeah, so um, I'm going to pause the video again here before we get into the 2018 portion of this planner. So I'll probably actually split this up into two videos now. So if you like this video and if you are at all interested in seeing um, sneak peeks of new releases that are going to be coming to my shop, This Little Piggy Plans, um, in some future videos, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I promise that there's going to be a lot of variety in the videos that I post. Um, you know, I'm obviously doing some flip throughs of my planners right now to just get started, but I will be posting um, sneak peeks every time we do a new release so that you guys can see what the stickers look like um, in person. And I might do some plan with me videos and maybe some Etsy hauls and some random fun things. So yeah, so I'm really excited to get this channel going. So please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye.